Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame D Line, TBKC, and all that other good shit. Check it out. Um, everybody's, you know, asking about the Jersey Show, the Jersey Show, the show, the show. We less than two weeks to the Jersey Show. I'm, I'm planning on announcing a date today for the uh, Florida Show. Uh, she's got to get back with me sometime. And it'll be three shows, and we'll be making the flyers, and we'll be doing the things, and it'll be a lot of great promotions. Um, I'm talking fast because I'm juiced up off of this uh, pre-workout. Excuse me, but let me tell you this. It, this is one thing I'm telling y'all. And um, once again, we, we, we're, we're reiterating. All dogs are allowed. Every dog is allowed. Because we do, we, we are preparing to have events like the weight pool. That is, uh, you know, like the weight pool, like protection work, uh, like obedience work. We're setting up the, uh, the groundwork to do th those things. And we will have some open sessions of that. You know, you, some, some of our shows will not be just confirmation shows some of our shows will be strictly uh obedience trials and different things like that we are we're going to make this a very versatile thing but what i will tell you in in, in the obedience is my thing i'm reaching out to other people for the other things I, I like to get people who specialize in things with the with the confirmation the one thing i will will tell you is that when i i'm not hyping anything I'm telling you, we are shooting for excellence. We are shooting for a certain type of dog. This is a place where a, you, your dog is going to have to be at a certain type of level. It's going to have to reach a certain type of standard. And I know it sounds like I'm being political when I say this, but trust me when I tell you, we will not have champions that have certain defects to them. That's not a championship dog in our eyes. We want to we wanna, uh, have championship and grand championship dogs that we would feel very comfortable presenting to anybody else in the world as far as registries and dog people and saying, this is a great example of an American bully. If you can't say that this is a great example of an American bully, great example of a German Shepherd, great example of a, a Rottweiler or any of the other breeds, boxers, you know, shorty bulls, whatever it may be, then you shouldn't be a registry. Uh, we do not accept a lot of things. Um, throughout this process we will be eliminating a lot of things and it's not to be nasty towards you but it's to get people in a true understanding that not every dog is a show dog not every dog is a breedable dog and some dogs are very very much so pets and they should remain that way the only way that we can actually become better in this breed and better in this society is to try to achieve a certain level that this community has yet to achieve you know and uh you know i, I this very basic some of those things will be you know y'all know i have a pet peeve for high rears because the high rear comes with several flaws you never see a high rear and, it, and the dog has great you know rear end movement and a great top line usually those two things get x'd out by the high rear because of the angles changing on the dog it's compensation in other areas which therefore make those uh those areas change the way their confirmation are also excuse me but um you know uh kink tails not allowed you know what i mean it's just not allowed, you know what I mean? Uh, severe b uh, bad bites, not allowed. You know, if the bite is somewhat off, a little bit off or whatever, then you stand a chance. Uh, bad feet, you know what I mean? The feet don't have to be exactly perfect, but if they are obviously easty, westy, if they are obviously any of the other problems, we cannot hand you a blue ribbon and call this a championship dog. That's why y'all may see us withhold more ribbons than the other registries, and it's not a thing to be nasty. It's a thing that at this point in time, we're gonna seem like assholes sometimes because we might not pick dogs and we'll always explain to you why but the thing of it is is that our process is to build something that is very elite over the years that when you go through a profile of TBKC champions in every breed that we uh, that we register and every breed we will represent we want our whole entire profile to be gorgeous dogs if, if they're of a championship nature we want to represent something that is elite when you get your TBKC uh, championship trophy and uh, well plaque uh, we we don't we we actually uh, send out championship plaques we don't send just a piece of paper but um, when you get your TBKC championship plaque, we want it to mean something. We want it to be that your dog is special. When you show that to people, we want them to, you know, almost like when you see, y'all know my favorite term, Rolls Royce, but when you see the Rolls Royce logo come, you never expect anything cheap. You don't expect, you know, that you expect to see something wonderful. Mercedes, you expect to see something wonderful. And we want our TBKC dogs to have an expectation of being something wonderful that over the next decade, two decades, that we represent something that is far more than has ever been represented in this breed. In order to reach these standards, we have to be hard on everything. And, you know, some people will be up to this task. Some people will say, you know what, I see what you're saying about my dog. I have to come back with something better. It'll get better. 
I'm coming back. I'm going to crush it next time. And you got love for those people. And then some people is going to be mad and angry and you know what I mean? All oh, this is BS and they're going to go other places. It's no hard feelings to those people. The other places are the places you should probably be because we're not going to lower our standards for anybody. So, you know, it's, it's, this is life. Sometimes people deserve to be, you know what I mean, at a certain level, and some people deserve to be at another level. But we're not going to change what we're doing. Come out to this show. Let us help educate you. We're not assholes. If you want to know what your dog truly is, if you want to know the confirmation of your dog truly, if you want to have a real dog man, dog woman talk about your dog in general, whether it's behavior, whether it's confirmation, things to expect. We even talk pedigree sometimes time all these things if you want to be on some real dog man type stuff and, and shooting for an elite status the tbkc is going to be for you if if that's not what you're into then you know there are other places and trust me there's no hard feelings but we have to do it the way that we set out to do it and we're going to make it a wonderful thing hey man october 19th y'all get there salem county fairgrounds new jersey i promise you we are going to have a good time we're going to have a good time. And uh, y'all make sure y'all get out there, man. Y'all make sure that y'all having fun. And uh, come say hello to everybody. You know what I mean? Let's do some dog man, dog woman talk and get this thing kicked off the right way. Um, I'll be I'll be free to uh, assess whatever dogs you have. I'll be free to talk about dogs. There'll be a couple other very good dog people in the house who will be, you know, let's share some knowledge. Let's start breaking these things down and let's start pointing in the direction that we want to go. But like I say, man, uh, Double American Bully Show. And uh, there's also an incredible fun show being put on by Mercado Bully Supplies. I mean, you got a Victor rep in there. You got a Bully rep in there. You got so many reps and different people coming in to say what's up and just to kick it and have a good time. The admission, is, the general admission is $10. For my show in particular, I have to, I have to talk to Tito, but my show Show in particular it's just ten dollars to in, enter in any of the shows so we're not trying to kill you on the price or anything like that all kids are free so uh come and check us out man i look forward to seeing y'all in less than two weeks much love peace